by our news features reporter An Sung Jin. Hello. Hello, hello, guys. Great to be back. My name is An Sung Jin, and I'm a news features reporter here at Arirang News. Great to be back again. Now, Sung Jin, uh, I've heard that you went to the movie theaters recently, but not to watch a very general movie, but something very special. Right, so, uh, so if we think of the general experience at a movie theater, it's you just sit down, watch, and maybe sometimes gasp or laugh about something that uh -huh. you've watched. But actually, movie theaters are now evolving something more than that. They're evolving beyond a platform to just watch movies, as more of them show sports matches, game tournaments, and concert movies. So I had to go and check out them myself, and I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. The chanting, the energy, and the beat that are coming from the loudspeakers. Fans often pay a fortune to attend a concert featuring their favorite artists just to enjoy the buzz and feel the enthusiasm. But what if all of this was possible at a movie theater as well? Alongside regular films, movie theaters are now also showing concert movies, which are recordings of live performances for fans to enjoy the excitement and the atmosphere of being at a concert. South Korean singer Im Young-ung's two concerts in May garnered 100,000 people. And for his avid fans, the concert has been recreated into a concert movie. And so far, more than 200,000 movie watchers have seen it, generating revenue of 4.4 million U.S. dollars. I only get to enjoy the vibe during the concert because it's so far away, but at the movie theater, I could see the details so well. I only concentrate on the singer during the concert, so the movie helped me see things that I've missed out on. From Taylor Swift to BTS, more and more artists are becoming available not only in concert halls, but on movie screens as well. I can really feel that more people are coming to watch such concert movies. At movie theaters, you get to enjoy the concert with a huge screen and an immense sound system, which I think draws in these people and brings the sensation. This theater has actually seen the figure for those coming to watch non-regular films triple from 2020 to 2023. And according to the Korean Film Council, revenue from special screenings of Korean movies last year rose by nearly 40 percent and brought in more than 110,000 movie watchers compared to the year before. An expert says that these movies target a niche audience and transform a movie theater into a space for a community. The South Korean audience is a bit unique. The concept of sing-along movies isn't common outside of Korea. Yet we don't have a fixed stereotype for a movie theater as a space. And this allows movie theaters to evolve into a multidimensional area. With the changing needs of moviegoers, more of the industry is looking to evolve to accommodate the rising demand for concert movies. Hmm, I think this is a great alternative to concerts. I myself have never been at one before. Have you, Walter? I have not, but now I really want to go because they made a good point of like it feels closer to the Exactly, stage. exactly. Yeah. So I think this uh, is really a great new trend that we're looking at here. But uh, Song Jin, do you have more details on the movie that uh, you had in your coverage? Right, so while I was covering this article, I could really see why these people go and watch this movie, especially this one, which has a really strong fan base. The concert movie that I covered this time actually has broken the record for the concert movie with the most viewers as it sold already around 350,000 movie viewers. BTS's 2019 concert movie, BTS World Tour, Love Yourself in Seoul, had previously ranked first for five years. It's impressive and at the same time draws out some sort of curiosity about the movie for those who haven't actually seen it yet. Yeah, so you've actually pointed out a few advantages in your report. Are there any more advantages to these concert movies at all? Right, so I briefly talk about why these people actually go to these concert movies, but to reiterate them once more, when I talk to these moviegoers, they seem to be broadly two reasons. The first one is obviously the atmosphere. If you missed a concert that you've been longing for, yet you still want to enjoy the heat and the sing-along energy, a concert movie would be your perfect option. The second big perk of these concert movies is that the tickets are more affordable than an actual concert ticket. The concert that I mentioned in my report normally costs around 180,000 Korean won, whereas the concert movie is only around 30,000 won, which is about six times less, I'd say. Mm, I think that is a really great benefit uh, on an economic uh, point of view. Absolutely. Uh, but I'm sure we can still find some concert movies at the movie theaters right now, apart from the one we saw with uh, Im Young moon <laughs> Right, so for guys like you who haven't watched concert movies yet, to briefly go over them, K-pop groups have been releasing 
releasing a whole bunch of concert movies these days. The South Korean boy band group Highlight, as well as girl group IVE, have released their concert movies for those fans wanting to relive their concert experience. But also for sport fans, the 2024 Korean baseball series will also be shown in movie theaters. So if you guys are interested in either one of those, you might as well check it out. Oh, I think there's something for everyone there. Especially for sports for me. Mm -hmm. Out of wide variety of <laughs> choices. So really fantastic investigative uh, uh, report on this rising trend, Song Jin. I uh, hope uh, you've got some nice stories in the near future again. Uh, well, I guess it's my pleasure as always, and mm -hmm. I'm always excited to be back. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. See you next time.